Hello and welcome again to another tutorial on how to make a game in Game Maker. And in the last tutorial, we were going over on how to draw a box around a green box around our box. And uh, we went into our draw method, and we're trying to draw a green box around our box when our player uh, came within our rebuild distance. So uh, in the last tutorial, it didn't seem to work, but actually it was working. It, I don't know if you noticed, but if you went within the rebuild distance, it actually did draw uh, not a green box, but a black box. That is because we forgot to set the color of the box. So it didn't look like anything, almost, and it was hard to, uh, to notice. So you want to draw another rec... no, actually, sorry, I'm getting confused. Okay, so you want to just uh, put a draw set color method here, and we want the color to be green. Okay, look, looking good. And let's go ahead and test that. Uh, just a second, I'm going to close them. Okay, I minimized most of the things. Okay, go ahead and run it. Okay, loading, loading, loading. Okay, just wait for it to load. I'm going to pause it until it's done. Okay, so it's done loading. And let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, good. So I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but when I go close enough to these uh, boxes, they actually have green boxes around them. So, that is a good sign. And actually, it's seeming to be a little bit thin. And uh, I want it a little bit thicker. So, we're actually going to do that right now. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there was a method. I'm going to pause it real fast and try to find if there is a function or method that will help us uh, complete this. Just a second. Okay, it doesn't seem like there is, so we're just going to do this uh, the way uh, I just came up with. So I'm just going to copy this the same code, like twice, and I'm just going to, uh, on all these codes, I'm just going to add one to the top, the first set of X and Y's, and minus one to the second. And then I'm going to do the same thing with a... With a the second copied code, except it's going to plus two, plus two, minus two, and minus two. And what this will do is actually make the box smaller, and thus making it thicker too. So it should be like three pixels thick because we're draw actually drawing three boxes, and uh, that's what we want. Okay. And as you can see, that is pretty bold those green boxes okay yeah that that is quite a bit uh... And it looks like actually we're missing uh... i think i messed up on one of the boxes oh yeah i did minus two instead of minus one so there we go uh... so that's basically how to do that and it's actually looking a little bit too thick so i'm just gonna get rid of one of the boxes so it's gonna be two pixels thick so after we do that, we're actually going to go into uh, having the boxes do stuff or rebuild. So actually, I'm just going to put the code down here. So I'm just gonna s let's uh, put our check. Just, just say check if rebuilding box. So if the actually we can just copy that code we made earlier, right? These set of if statements right here. It's pretty much exactly the same. Okay, we want to check if the player actually does exist and also we want to check if the box is within the player's reach or building reach. So if it is, then and I'm just going to put an and statement here and what do we want to do? And if the mouse mouse check pressed Mouse check, uh, actually, released. Mouse check, released. Button. Uh, I sort of got this. How this? I forgot how this works. Oh, I think it's like VK. Yeah, VK. Okay. VK. Uh, actually, sorry. I have to check how to do this. Okay, I figured it out. I just forgot. Okay, so I'm gonna put MB or short for mouse button and we want to check if the right mouse button was pressed so 
basically we're saying if the distance between the player and the box is less than the rebuild distance and you're right clicking oh and we want to check another thing and mouse mouse uh, let's see mouse yeah sorry and of point distance just copy this point distance object command dot x and we want to just change that to mouse x and mouse y so we're going to check the distance between oops that's wrong we're going to change object man dot x to mouse x and mouse y and this will basically just check the distance between the box and the mouse and we want this to be less than uh, sprite width divided by 2 which is basically just the radius of the sprite so uh, excuse me so this is basically just a uh, circular collision method or basically this is just che checking if the mouse is on uh, on the box and if you're pressing it so that's basically all that that does sort of long if statement but that's what it does so once uh, the player clicks the mouse and everything's legit we're just going to reset the HP to equal HP max so HP equals HP max okay looking good so uh, Actually, I'm, instead of wasting your time and debugging it and then seeing if it doesn't work, I'm just going to debug it right now and come back if it actually works. Okay, actually, you know, there's a couple things we have to do first. Uh, go into your box uh, step event and you want to add image index equals zero. And what basically this will do is set the image index to the first uh, box image, which is basically the healthy box or yeah basically the non-damaged box and the reason we're doing this is because uh, I don't think it it updates the image once we set the HP max so we're just gonna update the image first and the, the HP because we, we're gonna we know that it's it's uh, the maximum health that the box has so we don't need a zombie to come over and damage it to let it know. So uh, that's that. And another another thing is we want to go into our object control and draw method, and we just want to put uh, draw set color and then color we want to white. And the reason we're doing this is because you know how we set the color to green. Well, uh, once you get close to a box all the text will turn green because uh, we told it to so we just have to put that before uh, this right here to make sure we want to draw white text and on the enemy spawner I'm just going to uh, make the zombie time equal the zombie max time so we don't have to wait 20 seconds or so for or however many seconds for a zombie to spawn, so just zombie time equals zombie max time. And that will save us debugging time. So let's go ahead and test this, and hopefully it will work. So I'm going to pause it until it's done loading. Okay, so it's done loading. Oh, the zombie's already coming. So as you can see, when I right click on these boxes, see if I'm right clicking, but nothing happens. But when I see right click and I'm next to them, the box is rebuilt. So Okay, that zombie broke down that wall. Look, I'm rebuilding it. Okay, good. So, it's working right now. Looking good. Looking very good. So, now you got a got a little game for yourself. Keep trying to rebuild your barricades and the zombies keep trying to get in. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate a rating and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.